From the northern side of here, so a lot of things were happening right on the other side. That's blocking. There's no security good in Juba. The security is worse. Because it's our chance to see the human consequences of the failure of political leaders uh, to bring peace back to their country. Th these are the consequences. We met with women who described a huge surge in sexual violence against women who leave the camp in order to try to get firewood, in order to be able to cook the food for their families, for their children. As a mother, I can't imagine that choice, a choice in whether I cook for my kids or whether I risk sexual violence outside the camp. I know I would go and, and take that risk for my children. I think any mother would. Um, we heard desperate appeals for the regional protection force to be deployed quickly. Uh, this is a message that we have already conveyed, of course, to the government, but we will have the chance to do so again with President Keir uh, tomorrow. We heard appeals for the peace agreement um, to be fully implemented. People in these camps feel as if the political agreement that was agreed to remains the last best hope for them. And <clears throat> we heard appeals for the UN peacekeeping presence uh, to be more active, uh, to patrol, uh, to um, offer the protection uh, that people are afraid that uh, security forces for the government do not offer uh, at this time. <laughs> Every single individual we spoke to wants to go home and they will go home, they say, as soon as there is security. When we asked each and every one in very different circumstances, each from different parts of the country, uh, why aren't you going home? Why are you here? The answer was not, I want the food or I want the water. It was, I'm terrified. Opening remarks, and that will be followed by a brief of the civil society groups. After that, we'll have a long...